As you guys may know, I drop a video every Monday and Thursday, uh, a tutorial. And I try to get it out by 9 a.m. And unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not like the type of person that sleeps in, but it's 9.43. The first thing I do is I get up, brush my teeth, and do a voiceover. That's the life of a YouTuber. And this is the mic that I use that you guys get that beautiful voiceover from. This is the Blue Yeti. It's like a hundred... Like $130, $150, something like that. I can't remember. But it's like the best, it's the best mic I've used. Amazing. I'm always in this corner, it feels like, but it is, my watch is off. Let me see, hold on. It is 1026. We have done a voiceover. We have uploaded it. Um, I'm now working on the 245 Academy, some customer service stuff. What else? Uh, and then editing a video for the online academy while listening to Gary V and my son. I don't think that works as well now, but let me tell you this. Boy, would I rather all the brands... He just woke up. Yo, this is not the glamorous side of YouTubing. It's not. <laughs> I promise. Look at this. All right, it's 11.56, but I got two videos done. One on YouTube, one on the Academy. Um, my wife is at the salon right now doing hair. The kids are down uh, right next to me in the room next door watching TV. Um, now I'm waiting for the wife to get home. I'll hit the gym. Once I'm done with the gym, I'll shower and we will go do something with the kids. Do do some family stuff. All the while, I'll be thinking about what I'm going to do when I get home. What I need to finish up when I get home. Part of it is some, a formulation for a new product that I'm working on. What else? What else? Does, uh, we got a whole bunch of to-do lists. This used to have my to-do list on it, and you can see what my daughter did. I can't believe what this person just said to me. Rude. So I tried to email her. 8020 Sales and Marketing. That's the book I'm on, on Audible. If you want an Audible account, and you want me to get more credits so I can read more for free, use the link in my description. But I got, I get the, um, there's the goal that gives you one book a month, which is what I have forever. But now that I'm in my office more and, and there's a lot of like dead silence and stuff, I just upgraded to the platinum where you get two books a month. It's like $22 a month, so. This this changed this changed my life, man. This changed my life. Let me tell you why it was a game changer. Why it changed my life. Let me tell you why. What some of y'all may not know is that I grew up being the kid that was supposed to fail. Didn't pay attention to school. I had a 1.7 GPA all through high school. It wasn't until my senior year I got to play basketball one full season. And the reason why is because I'm a dummy and I didn't pay attention. I didn't go to school. I didn't turn in homework. I didn't care. So when I was fi finally eligible my senior season, I played a full season of basketball and I had scholarships to play ball. Didn't care about scholarships to go to school. Didn't care about that. But I knew my parents cared, so that's why it meant something to me. Now, what happened, once the basketball season finished, my grades dipped. And when my grades dip, they go scholarship offers. That's it. Off the table. Lost everything. So I had to start taking night classes, retaking classes I took my freshman year. It was embarrassing. And and just to get my grades from a 1.7 to a 2.3 GPA. My coach did some hunting for me. He had a friend and I ended up getting a scholarship. It was a full scholarship. Half of it was academic. Half of it was athletic from what I can remember. And I ended up playing basketball. But here I am a minority kid from an immigrant family. Knew nothing about credit. Knew nothing about business loans. Knew nothing about taxes. I know nothing. Like I was literally just playing basketball, you know? And it, I didn't realize how how bad bad it was until I ended up leaving, dropping out my, my after my freshman season, homesick, wasn't in love with basketball anymore, and I ended up moving back home and working at Arby's, a fast food restaurant. And in this fast food restaurant, I started to gain some confidence because I started out, you know, washing dishes and making sandwiches. And I worked my way up quick, like people were like, why are you here type thing? You smart, you're a hard worker. Like I never really got that feeling like I did when I was there. So in that first year, I ended up becoming the assistant manager. And after the second year, I ended up getting, um, running the store. I was the youngest person in the district that was running a store on, on his own. I, even though I hated my job, I loved the success in that world. I loved the growth. Then I started going to the these meetings and realizing bro I'm only making 30,000 a year she's making 70 he's making a hundred he's making 80 she's making 110 and I'm doing the same job as them why my numbers are amazing why am I stuck here and I realized it was because I was 20 I was young I ain't got no college degree I don't have like in that world it's so much politics it's not you don't get awarded for what you've done you get what I'm saying and it confused me and then I read a book called rich dad poor dad and that book was the light I needed if you have never read that book I'm trying to change your life right now go read that book rich dad poor dad that book 
transform my way of thinking. And it made me choose barbering. It made me say, I'm going to be a barber. And I'm not just going to be a barber. I'm going to try the same way in this world, even though it was a very limited amount of success. I felt like I, I worked my way up very quickly. I want to know what working my way up in the barber industry is. And I want to do it quickly. I want to put my all into it. And I want to be great at it. Whatever the barber industry had to offer, I wanted to fulfill it all. So that book changed my life, man. And now here I am. I'm a barber and loving it. Yo, one thing I didn't get to show you guys is look at the bottle, they, the shaker bottle they gave me. I want one of these with the 245 logo. I think that would be dope. But what I'm drinking right now is a protein shake. Usually I drink one of these um, post workout, but uh, we're going to we're going to drink it now because I haven't really eaten that well today. So it is what it is. Real quick, I wanted to show you guys something that I bought. We went to China last year, and while I was there, I saw one of these, and instantly um, I thought about Justine because Justine she loves doing her makeup. So ever since then, it's been like a year. She still hasn't used it. So I decided to start using it for my little barber station. So, got some flat out drawers here, flat out drawers, compartment underneath it, it has compartment there, lights, LED lights, you can turn on, it also has, uh, it's, it's designed for makeup, for makeup artists, and these legs come off, go in here, and uh, you have like little spots for wheels, and it rolls, like luggage. So I thought about bringing it with me on trips for the classes, but man, that's a lot. That's a lot of luggage to be carrying. So I don't, but it's pretty dope. I think I paid like in China, like 200 bucks, but here on Amazon, it's like 350, 400 bucks. So check those out. If you, if you think you could use it, it would be perfect for like people who do exclusively house calls. I'd be a dope quick setup. And you know what? Since I love my new camera, let's get some B-roll. <laughs> That B-roll is so lit. Like, imagine what my product reviews are gonna look like now. <sighs> I can't wait. Now I can't wait to do the uh, the uh, Babbless Shaver product review. It's gonna be lit. But I'm I'm really gonna go in with the Beam Team cordless compressor review. <sighs> All right, so you want to be an educator of some type. There's a lot of different ways to be an educator in our industry. It could be you want to educate at a school, probably the lowest paying. You can be like work your way up as an educator in a school and become like the lead educator or something like that. Obviously the money would go up from there. Um, you can be a brand educator where a lot of brands don't really put the educators on salaries, for example. You would just get like all expenses paid and maybe a few hundred bucks or whatever for the weekend. But if, if traveling is something you want to be you want to you want to do if you think having that platform would help you um, build your brand which it would I mean if you're on on stage at the Orlando premiere or you're teaching classes you're, you're gonna be teaching classes in front of hundreds of people so it would help your personal brand get you some really some real organic following and what you do with that following is up to you the other thing is using social media making content building a following that way the at the end of the day it's how much value can you can you provide and it could be the value for a school would simply be they want somebody there <laughs> you know what i'm saying while the older is not a lot, i mean i don't know about you guys but that was the experience with me they want somebody there while you're not be able to make sure everything's okay the educators at, at most schools at the lowest form i don't want to knock anyone but typically you're not going to go educate for 20 dollars an hour when at the barbershop you could be making 40 50 dollars an hour right that makes sense especially a salon like you're not going to be educating at a at a school for 20 dollars an hour when you could be making like my wife freaking 100 dollars an hour you might make that sacrifice i know a lot of educators will make that sacrifice because they they want to gain experience they want to see what it's like they want to actually be there holding hands and they have a passion for it and they feel like this is the the best way that they can get get their um, experience that's possible guys and then as a brand as a brand as a platform artist we would call it you know the value is how much can you sell at the end of the day like these people are, are, are buying you a flight buying you a hotel room giving you a few hundred dollars they're pretty much investing a couple thousand dollars into you um, and they ultimately they're not gonna bring you back unless there's some type of return on investment and they don't there's not really a way to track that but if they see a room packed full of people if you're at their booth on the stage and you're keeping a crowd around the booth I mean that's not not hard to tell right and you'll have a guy who does the opposite nobody's around I mean why would you bring that educator right so you got to give value the other thing is 
using social media, which is what I did, and build build your own platform on these platforms, right? Um, give content, show people that you have value to give to them, and organically, people will start asking you, bro, what do I need to do to shadow you? What do I need to do to take a class with you? And you'll almost be like forced to make that happen, right? I had no plans to be an educator, like. I was on YouTube just showing people what I what I knew. But I also knew that if I was gonna start educating professionals, um, I needed to continue to grow myself to continue to have value to give. And the more value you that you can offer, the bigger your stage gets, the bigger your platform gets. So um in today's day, guys, nobody's gonna give you nothing, right? Like I think a lot of times, like I get DMs all the time, like, yo, what do I need to do to be educated for 245? I mean, if it was your company, what would you be looking for? Right? Like at the end of the day, if you notice the people People who we've been putting on stages and stuff it wasn't like they tried out it wasn't like they put in an application it was more so they were around they were just part of the family already and when you have passion the people like that who are willing to 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 put money up to sacrifice to on their last dime make it out to the to the i don't know the ct barber expo the orlando premiere and just be around the fire when opportunities come for the company you got to think about yo who would be good for that opportunity and the first people you're going to think about are the people that are always around right that just to me that just makes logical sense people don't want to do that they just want to send a dm and and all of a sudden get flown out somewhere or they want to build their their following to a hundred thousand and wait for the for the brands to come I'm, I'm gonna tell you this you know that is that is possible definitely i mean i get brands that, that were hitting me up for a while but you just got to make sure that that brand's vision coincides with yours that you care about that brand so with all that being said what i would do if i was you guys is i would focus on investing on yourself first take your time learn the industry show up to the to the expo show up to classes really learn what's going on in the industry and don't just make assumptions and stuff and and see what other people are showing you on social media and think that's what you want because what people are showing you on social media half the time ain't the truth they're only showing you the good parts they're not showing you the the, the bad with the good in order to do that you're gonna have to spend money right you're gonna have to spend time away from the shop and lose money you're gonna have to sacrifice you're gonna have time away from your family nothing great nothing that you dream about having it don't come easy guys there's no like, there's no lotto tickets for that so Yes, sir. We are going to pick something up that people been waiting on for a long time. Bro, it's been a long time coming. Y'all don't understand. I'm excited. Just on vacation, bro, or what? You know, working. Working, working at home. <laughs> Matt's out here, too? I'm telling the vlog about the left hand shoes. Oh, nice. Finally, man. Another Tito, Tito, Tito Beats production.